Hi guys. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do with my brush, aside from train, was the tanks and vehicles and stuff for boat action and anything along those lines because I don't really play 4K that much but I've got a guard army sitting doing nothing it's been sitting doing nothing on a shelf for 10 years unpainted so I figured I'd use the Russies and the Chimera that I have as test subjects for the tanks basically kind of practice using the airbrush, practice weathering stenciling, that sort of stuff so this guy is as finished as he's going to get but it's gave me a lot of practice and looking at it I can see all the bits that I want to improve because it's my first attempt like if I was to really show you there's lots of bits where the spray hasn't actually touched the plastic from the airbrush so there's lots of bits that have been missed and all that sort of stuff and the weathering just seems a bit slapdash but it looks alright it's table worthy anyway so yeah, as you can see there's a lot of dirt and grime on there and it's no real pattern at all apart from the rusty oily bits. It needs more mud. Not that it needs thicker mud, it just needs like here, you'd probably get a bit of mud. There's a wee bit down there but not much. Uh, tails off back here and sort of clogs up up the back again but if you look on the other side there's absolutely nothing down here. And the mud itself is, well, <laughs> made up on the spot. Uh, yeah, it was brown paint, my Russian earth pigment, gloss medium, and coffee grounds to give it some roughage. Uh, these guys are supposed to be city fighters, so why there's a lot of mud on it, I don't know, but I'd Learn how to do mud, so I'd put mud on it. Uh, but yeah. I'm happy enough with the mud, I'm just not happy with where it's been placed. I just threw pigments everywhere to dull it all down, which hid a lot of the mistakes, but it just looks, to me, pretty bland now. Uh, when it comes to the masking, that was an absolute pain in the ass to get over all the bumps and stuff to make it crisp and when you're going over edges when the edges don't match up I try to think I can show you it's like you end up with the masking tape going places where the design wouldn't really have it going also it's going to annoy the hell out of me but probably no one would notice it until I point it out the way it's all worked was you have the crisp line with the paint being pushed this way but on the barrel, it's a crisp line with the payment pushed that way. Everywhere else is fine, but the barrel is going the opposite way. I don't know if you can see it better than this. Nah. The pigments just sort of dulled it down, you don't really notice it that much. Uh, when it comes to the black and yellow stripes, that's going to be really not something I use with bow action. But my god, that is awkward. Getting the stripes the right width without buying tape that width and then having it go over the bumps in the right fashion to keep the stripes the same without the edges blurring. If you get crisp edge it's great but where I've tried to keep it straight I've got wee blood bits which I've managed to cover up mostly with the mud and the scratches and that sort of stuff. I didn't really bother much with the guns because I really don't care about them. They have not really much interest to me. Uh, and the guy really just did got did get one layer of paint on his goggles, his face and his helmet and then washed. Uh, yeah, there's not much else to it. It's really just the, the mask and the weathering and the mud is what I was practising. So that's how it's all came about. I've just noticed I think I've got white spray in the back of the guy. Not that it makes a difference. But, yeah, so that's my first attempt ever at doing mud and the weathering of a tank. Uh, obviously the bow action stuff's a bit smaller than that, but we'll see how it goes. I've got two tanks 
that I'm going to pick up as well as uh, a couple of bits of artillery uh, but I'm not really into what's it doing just now? tank platoons? I might push I might push get one but that'll be about it anyway, catch you later